part of being your mind in harmony with the body. Whereas the body right now, keep your mind right there and try to be on good terms. This principle of harmony is important from both on the outside and on the inside. We want to live in harmony on the outside. It's good to develop a sense of gratitude. Think of all the good things that other people have done for you. So when they do things you don't like, that you don't get overwhelmed by the fact that you don't like them. And you remember that on balance, we're much better off having one another here, rather than just trying to eke out things alone. And then think about all the people who've created this monastery, created this place, created these opportunities to practice, who've carried the teaching on for who knows how many generations. We just have some gratitude for them, too. We're lucky that we're their recipients. Lucky in the sense, of course, it is our own karma that allows for this opportunity. But without their help, we wouldn't have had it. So when there are differences or disagreements, try to think of gratitude. Think of goodwill. That way the disagreements and don't get out of line. Don't go overboard. I mean, it's, not, it's common that there will be things that people do that people right around them don't like. But if we learn how to keep it, our attitude that these things are really small, that we can live together and work together, and everybody benefits. Even the people who are not here, they benefit, knowing that there's a place where people are really practicing. I've heard several people say that they can't come up here, but just knowing that there is this place warms their heart. There are people in the world who are practicing. So I try to behave in a way that's warming up other people's hearts, too, so that even though there are differences, the differences don't blow up. And that way our friendship becomes admirable friendship. And the fact that we have other people here, we don't have total seclusion. We have relative seclusion, but seclusion is not total. But the fact that it's not total is not going to impinge or place any restraints on our, our practice. That way we can look after ourselves. And as I say, looking after yourself, you look after other people, like the, like the acrobats. You maintain your balance, and it makes it a lot easier for other people to maintain their balance as well.